What's going on, card pack? Um, we're going to look at the top 10 basketball cards that went up the most over the last week. We're going to look at them, but we're going to dive deep and try to find some what I feel are good investments. So it, they may not be on this top 10 list, but when I go through here, this is kind of where I start. I start looking at what's trending, what's hot, and I look at players I really like, and then I dive deeper trying to find their most undervalued cards. Okay. So number 10 on the list, we got Pascal Siakam. I should say, you know what? Hit that like button. Super supportive. It's the best thing you can do for the channel. Please hit that like button, okay? And, uh, and subscribe if you like this content for more. I always appreciate that. And uh, that's what I got for you. Uh, by the way, we are in the Market Movers tool. That's what we're going to be using. Most powerful thing I use in sports card investing, period. As we go through here, you will definitely see why. I'll put a link for it in the description with a discount code. The discount code is SOCIETY, and you'll get 20% off your first month or your first year, whichever subscription you choose. You get 20% off your first payment. One more little plug, bear with me. I have the Sports Card Society. This is where I send my best, best, best sports card picks. It is an exclusive community. Link for that in the description, too. So, Pascal Siakam. Yeah, he's not someone, he's up, this card in particular, up 157%. That's probably his rookie card. I think that's his rookie year. Um, I'm not interested in Pascal Siakam. John Morant, though. Uh, number nine on the list, 2019 Chronicle 681 Rookies and Stars. Pop count of only 250. Up 162%. Let's pull this up. Let's, uh, let's pull up the chart on this. See what we got here. Also, off camera. Well, everything's off camera because we're only shooting my screen, aren't we? I'm in line for an NBA Top Shot pack. I missed the Elite one this morning. Pissed me off. So I'm in line for the Standard one. I could probably buy five packs, but I probably won't buy that many. I find that the return on the Standard packs is just not as good, at least on these ones, these particular ones, as the Elite ones. The Elite ones, I bought two Elite packs last week, and I made 200 some dollars. Off of it. I mean, I, I actually didn't spend any money. I used something called trade tickets. Anyways, this isn't a Top Shot video. I'm just in line over here. I'll let you know uh, how it goes. Maybe I'll open the packs during the stream too and, uh, and uh, tell you what I got. So John Morant. We're looking at the last, what, mm, seven days. Went from 42 to 110. Let's pull this back like 90 days. So this is just a weird-ass spike. The real value of this card is somewhere between 42 and 62, probably about 50. That's probably about the real value. But you know what? Let's go dive deeper on other John Morant cards. I don't really want the Chronicle stuff. Um, not sure why you're doing this. Yeah, rookie card only. Let's refresh this real quick. Let's edit that. What is your dilly, yo? Let's do this. that shoes player I'm not sure why it's giving me guff here it might be some kind of glitch in the market movers tool right now I'm gonna pause this and try to figure it out all right figured out just had to refresh the page a couple times now what do we want to look at 2019's is rookie year what kind of cards do we want to look at let's pick some brands mm, sexy national treasures always a beautiful beautiful car let's look at the optic let's look at hmm what else I like select what else you think in prison 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 I'm gonna avoid prison I'm gonna avoid prison I like to get a little more nuanced than that because typically to me prisms are kind of overvalued and uh, the other brands are where you find the undervaluedness um, let's just go with um, maybe just go with those three for now let's just let's just go with those three because we're gonna have lots of parallels in here we don't want to look at the base blue velocity is interesting mm, always the court side oh, court side silver mm. I'm gonna avoid the hollow next I don't like hollow it's just because that's uh, within this class within this these parallels hollow is um, I don't want to say overvalued but it's certainly rarely undervalued uh, ooh, let's look at that one ooh, patch auto just for the hell of it and ooh, zebra 
concourse or courtside? God, that's going to be beautiful. What else? Oh, tie dye. Yeah, let's go concourse tie dye. Or is there a premium level tie dye? Oh, die cut too. Ooh, it's my turn in line on uh, Top Shop. Let's find maybe one more here. Um, what should we choose? How many packs should I buy? I'm just going to buy two packs. Yeah, I'll buy three. I like opening them. Uh, do we have another pick in us? Let's go with... Because you can pick seven at a time to compare. Mm, black Velocity. I'm not even 100% what that is. Let's go Premier Level Zebra also. Let's do that. we got seven chosen there. Open my pack over here. One of them. We're just going to look at the ten. Let me open my pack over here. Ooh. Milton. Eh. Junk card. Moment, I guess. Did this search it? Who is this? Lonnie Walker, whatever. Porzingis, whatever. That pack sucked, as usual. As they do. That's why they're doing just for trade tickets now. I'm not going to get into all that. Let's look at the chart. So this one up here is just screwing everything up. So we're going to take that one off. Pac on only seven. Wow, what a beautiful, beautiful card. Get rid of that. Now everything comes back up. Let's see here. So only three cards really came. Let's go over the last 365 days. Who was this? Is it Trey Young? Tyler Hero. What? I swear to God, it's just like how many? Oh, it was a limited edition one. Okay, sure. Um, and now this one's throwing everything off. This courtside zebra. All right, Pashel. Who cares? Yeah, that one doesn't look any good either. Morris. Yeah, it's just a waste. I hate these standard packs. So I pissed I missed the elite ones this morning. That one's junk. Ooh, this one might be good. It's Trey Young, come on. Ugh, Bogdanovich. Just the, who's this? Absolute waste. I'm so sick of these standard packs. They suck so bad. Get, only get the elite ones. Anyways. God, that's a beautiful car. Let's just look at it. Is that just the court side? Wait, where are we? Oh, here we go. Whew, beautiful. Pop count of seven. <laughs> Let's get rid of that one, too. I'm not going to look that high. But So let, this is get a little more interesting. So we know there's high demand for these. Look at these pop count. Pop count only eight? Huh. That's super interesting, isn't it? That's the premier level. God dang, that's a premier level blue die cut out of 249. Pop kind of only eight. I like cards like that that have a hard number like that out of 249. Hmm. That I mean, because would you rather have a card with a pop count of eight, where there's only 249 of them, period, in existence of any condition? And I, to me, that just makes a lot more sense. Because look at the price here: 790 bucks. Hold on, I gotta throw my food in the oven. All right. Now, if we look at these other ones, let me click on here real quick. So, I mean, that's going for $7.90 the last sale. We'll see if there's even any available for sale right now. And then, what do we got up here? We got the court side for $5.80 and the blue velocity for $3.85. So, to me, the court side is the better deal of those two. Half, half the pop count, and it's just more desirable. Court side's more desirable than blue velocity is. So, to me, that just makes sense. Although, you know, charts don't lie. You see the blue velocity. If you look at it over the past year, it's just been, you know, slowly trending up. You can even follow that dotted line. 
where the court side has been slowly going down, but I don't, I mean, it, that's what it shows over the year, but if you look here, if you call that the bottom right there, you can see it's making higher highs and higher lows. So it's trending up. They're both trending up. In reality, look, it kind of did about the same time. So I think that this one's a really good buy, but let's see if this one's available anywhere. Let's go to eBay real quick. Are you seeing how powerful the Market Movers tool is? Link in description with discount code. Oh. What? Wait, what? No, that's not. Wait, what? Look at this die cut. What's going on here? What? Interesting. Zebra courtside? What? No. Huh? No, this is just this is just his concourse. This is not courtside. This is his concourse. So we can see. Oh no, that is courtside. Why doesn't it say that up there? Huh? Oh yeah. Okay. For some reason, I thought it was zebra. Okay, my bad. Mm, let's type this in how it's supposed to be. Select. 2019 select premier level 249 Ja Morant. Let's try that. Oh. Oh, it's not a 10. Damn, it's a, it's a 9. <clears throat> Dang it, that would have been good. That would have been good. What are you? What's that? What's that? It's a 9. It's interesting. Uh, okay, yeah. I was kind of thinking that might not even be available. So I'm going to let it be. But we're going to take a look at this court side, right? Because we were just looking at that. Let's pull that back up. Because again, we're looking at this. You can see that it's trending up. This was the bottom 400, 400 bucks beginning of December. And that was some kind of, you know, it quickly bounced up from there. It came to a st pretty steady level of 650 to 700. And now we're sitting here, maybe, boy, if we could get it for under 700, I think I'd feel pretty good about that. Now, why in the world, 2019, select courtside jaw Morant PSA 10? Usually market movers is on point when I click the eBay button. I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, let's go here. I really like the value of this. Uh, I mean, I think these are probably underpriced right here, so it should be, if I could get it for under 700, I'd feel pretty good about that. Oh, there's one under 700, and you can make an offer on it too. Okay, okay, okay. I know the last sale says 580, 545, 6, 645. I think that we're bouncing. See how, what I mean? How like you hit these lows, like here's a low, then it goes up. Here's a low, then it goes up. Here's another low. I think it's going up. So, what do we find here? No. Oh, 629. I would probably make offers on these, but I'm cool with that price. Yeah, I'm pretty cool with that. I mean, the last one went for 580 with plenty of previous sales, like because of what I could see on the chart here. I dig that. I like that card. I'll put a link in the description for this. If you want to check it out, but there's only one in that. I make offers on the other ones. I didn't click buy it now, so there must not be any for auction right now. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. So let's go here. Let's see who else? Devontae Graham, not interested in him. Lamella Ball, I'm not that interested in him either. More interesting, but eh. Eric Paschel, DeAndre Hunter, not really. Dame. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Dame, though. Hmm. Damn. I think I think I still like John Morant because he's just a younger player, and I think he's got more to go. So I like the gas that's uh, the tread that's left on the tires. The uh, it's got an extra fill of it, it, it's got more miles to go. You know what I mean in terms of up. Dame Lillard. I don't. I love Dame, but I think he's probably kind of around the top of where he 
he goes for. And that's not even a rookie card there. So who, who really, who cares? Not, not that we're looking for the specific one. So I really like this John Morant select courtside. Pop count of only 246 You get it for well under $700. Maybe even come in here and say, you know, make an offer to this guy and say, hey, you know, this one's listed for 629 Can you beat that? If you could give it to me for five ninety nine, I'd be it'd be a deal. I mean, six six twenty nine to me is a hell of a deal. Hopefully, by the time you see this, this is still even available. Um, but I'll put a link for this in the description for this eBay listing. Um, and that's probably about it. So that's kind of how I dig around and I try to find undervalued cards. I hope you learned some things there from it. Join the Sports Card Society if you want to get more of my top picks. And of course, this Market Movers tool. You see how powerful it is. Link in description with the uh, discount code. And it's 20% off. That discount code is society. You get 20% off your first month or your first year, whichever subscription you choose. So it's 20% off your first payment. I want to make that very clear, okay? Only your first payment. So if it were me, I'd do the year because then you save a crap load more money than just getting 20% off one month. Um, but uh, other than that, hit that like button if you liked this content. It really supports the channel. I really appreciate it. Hit that like button. Hit the follow button too. Stay classy. You're awesome.